to the Spotlight Series. I'm your host, Scott Nerney. It's live Monday night from the Coesed Inn. Don't forget, if you're watching this, click that share button, like, and subscribe. Pass it on to some friends. Because we have a fantastic guest today. Teresa, you are the star right now. And we <laughs> want to hear about what your passion and mission is celebrating Rhode Island. So give us a For little sure. background of yourself. Yeah, so um, I am from Smithfield, and I have lived there my whole life. Um, I am a mom of three. Nice. So Congratulations. Thank you very much. And um, this is kind of uh, something that's been picked up in the last few years. Um, and it's just grown since. And it's just getting better. I love it. So tell us what, what you're doing. How are you making Rhode Island different? Okay. So I, um, I'm an artist and I love to find really cool rocks and um, I find a special meaning or um, message to put on the rock or artwork. Specifically, I did the Rhode Island Wave. That's awesome. <laughs> For you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I um, thought that was kind of, I've been doing that actually for like some businesses and they've loved it. So it's, um, that's been pretty cool to like try something new. But, um, so tell us, when did all this start? A few years back, um, I can't recall the exact year, but it started slowly and I stopped for a while, but it came back and um, my son, Daniel, he's eight now. He loves to do it with me. Even my, my little Maddie, she is four. She just turned four um, and she loves to paint, my rock, uh, paint the rocks with us too. Um, and I have a uh, middle child, Jason, who is my special boy. He is um, uh, six years old. He has um, autism spectr spectrum disorder. Um, so it's, um, it's, it's kind of almost been a stress reliever <laughs> with like the high stress um, with that family life. But um, it's, it's been very therapeutic for me. <laughs> So when you say you, you paint them for, for kind of a therapy for yourself, but yeah. also for the person who may find them as well? Oh my gosh, yeah, that's the best part. Yeah, <laughs> so, let's take a look. Yeah, this one says, it just said it's purple. It says, today will be a good day. So nice. like, I, I'll put them somewhere like random, like um, it could be a park, a uh, mall, gas station. I've done it at a gas station. And I'll just leave it, um, I'll leave it there for someone to find and, you know, uh, who knows like who will need to hear that that day um my favorite rocks to paint are the landscapes my sunsets my favorite um i also i do love the messages so i combined both and i put it on this rock it says um you are not a drop drop in the ocean you are the entire ocean in a drop and it's the ocean <laughs> so um i love that one i don't know i'm i'm afraid to let that one go um yep just like Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, just different things that come to me. Um, your intuition is the most honest friend you'll ever have. You know, I thought that was a pretty cool, my little. Oh, letting the rain fall off with colors. Yeah. You know, it's fun to experiment with um, paint because I, I never painted before. It's, this is all brand new and I'm learning every time I paint. It's uh, extremely exciting. It's fun to learn something that you're good at, for sure. And when, where do you find all of these rocks? Um, just, I, so a, a lot of times um, you can actually get them on like Amazon. You can find um, smooth ones. Um, I've found them in different beaches um, that I've been to, um, but yeah, you just, I, I always look for like a specific type of rock though. It's gotta be, you know, very smooth. I made this for my kids, You Are So Loved. Um, I'm a big music fan, so I did a Rolling Stones one. <laughs> you know, another sunset. Oh, I love this one. It says, um, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. There you go. Yes, very much because, so. Because um, I feel like a lot of t um, nowadays, everybody's kind of striving to meet some type of expectation or be someone they're not. And um, it's truly uh, an important thing to be yourself. Um, 
a lot of my rocks have that type of uh, message in it. Um, breast cancer. Um, it's personal for me. Uh, not specifically, but dragonflies are my favorite. My I had to bring my dragonflies. Thing, yeah. <laughs> and let's see, I got, oh, um, my cardinal and Chewbacca. <laughs> So it's kind of like a variety of different ones I've done, but. Um, and where do you place them? Yeah, so. Um, Besides, I think your answer is going to be where the spirit tells you, but yeah. where are they usually? Yeah, so um, I'll go around Smithfield, basically. Um, I'll stay in Smithfield, but I've ventured out. <laughs> and I will, I'll go all over the place. Um, I actually keep a lot in my car. So like a lot of times I'll be like, I need to leave a, a rock here or specific, like I'll, I'll meet someone and I'll be like, I feel like this person needs this message. Um, and it'll be so random when I do that, but like it, people, um, you can tell they appreciate it because, uh, you know, it's a hand painted, um, strong message to do share. You, do you sneak them in friends' houses? Let's see, have I done that? No, I don't. <laughs> Not yet? <laughs> Not yet. That's I, a good idea. I've left the idea, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, you said you mentioned landscapes. What are some of your other favorite things to paint? Let's see. Um, you know, the ideas kind of come at me randomly. So um, I love, um, I've been loving doing birds, uh, flowers. Um, but the one, but the rocks with the strong message um, are really, really, I think those are my favorite. My wife and I have a, a, what we call a rock garden. It's under a tree in the, out the back door. And we've taken, I've stolen, <laughs> stolen. Oh no. I won't say where, but rocks about, you know, this size. Yep. And then we write on the bottom where they were from. Oh, some okay. from Mexico and oh, you know, cool. other areas, but usually it's a place we go on vacation. I think it started one time where I tripped on one and thought, oh, I'm just gonna. <laughs> and I, I think I put it in my pocket because I picked it up and I took it home, and all of a sudden I was like, oh, I still have that rock. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, we write on it and we put it in there, and there's some for special family members. And yeah. they go under the tree, and, you know, they're not painted on the top at all, they're just usually, you know, bare rocks yeah but once in a while we're cleaning under there you'll look you know you'll look at one and sometimes the the black marker's still there sometimes it's not and i always think if it's not there that person got the message <laughs> um, but you know it, it it makes you feel good it's, for sure that's, um, that's similar to to what you're doing here it's it's yeah. now i noticed on the bottom you're not putting who you are oh no i sign them i am oh, I, I see yeah that one just I, I must have forgotten, but I always put um, my Instagram name, Spread Kindness TRP. I always, oh, okay. I always, it's not on the one, every, every single one no, I'm picking okay. up. I know, these were some you just brought. <laughs> but um, I, I make sure I leave that when I, um, when I drop it somewhere. So people can, if they want to, find me on social media. And well, if what not, are they saying when they, when they find you? Oh my gosh. I've had a lot of direct messages. Um, from people who've looked me up, saying uh, it was something that they really needed to see that day, or um, made their day, put a smile on their face, and that's like honestly the most rewarding thing um, to bring like happiness or joy to like somebody else. It's a way of um, interacting with the community um, without really interacting with them because you know <laughs> it's fun. It's it's really fun. And are some people saying they took the rock or they left it, or they got the message, sent you a note and left it for the next person or a mix of both? You know, they can do whatever they want, but um, a lot of people keep them I've, from what I've read. Um, but, you know, they can always be rehid, kept, or you can just leave it where you find it. Oh, it's beautiful. I, you know, th there's a lot of people taking from the community these days and a lot of other folks just kind of ignoring the community. We, we find special people like yourself every day that 
you know, you're benefiting from it yourself and your family and yeah. helping your middle son mm -hmm. and you're helping the community heal a little bit or get an inspirational message or yes. in the case of a Rolling Stones fan, they may find this and think, that's going to my house because I need a paperweight or I want that on my desk yeah. or, exactly. or I want to put it in my own rock garden. So yeah. you know, you're really making a difference and we appreciate that. Yeah, I, um, the be it's great to be able to share kindness with other people because I feel as if um, it's just something that you don't necessarily see from day to day. Um, uh, so I think it's contagious too because mm. um, even if they leave it some a rock uh, somewhere else in the community, um, they still read it and it's still that positive message and it's still in there, <laughs> you know, so. So if people are watching this and they found a painted rock, mm -hmm. but didn't write down your Instagram address or how to reach you and they want to say or they want to say hey you know what we could use a rock on such and such yeah. next time you're around give us uh, contact information so how they could find you yeah um, so it's um, spread kindness TRP and that's Facebook and Instagram and um, it's public you know I put all my rocks up and I have like uh, Eight, over 800 followers from all over the world. It's incredible. Um, it's it's amazing to connect with like all these artists. Uh, so and um, a lot of inspiration out there too. Great. So you have an impact not just in Rhode Island but all over the world. So cool. Yeah. Great. It's really cool to think about. Yeah, for well, sure. I love it. I, I love what you've brought here. This Thanks. is only a tiny sample of what you've already done out there. Yes. If you're wandering around Smithfield and you see a shiny rock or something catches your eye, <laughs> take a look at it, look underneath. You'll probably find this fantastic artist has had a piece of it. And check her out on Instagram or Facebook. Give her a thanks, because I know she would love to hear your story. Yeah. And let her know if you took that rock and where you took it from, because she'll <laughs> want to put one back. For sure. Thank Absolutely. you so much. I really appreciate Thanks. it.